hello hello welcome back i have worked some more on my little pink christmas journal and i am ready to sew in my signature but first i want to show you a few things that i've done so far um so i stitched this the both the outside borders or edges with the little snowflake stitch i thought that was really cute and i used the thread color that matched this turquoisey blue color and then the other sides I just sewed a straight stitch and I know sometimes people sew this just this way but I, I uh, sewed around the back and then I sewed around the front so and then on the inside you just see the snowflakes and of course the lines but I I don't mind this too much okay that's what I've done and then I also um got all the pages together for my signature and I will do a flip through after I sew this in because I already um, put like clipped them together and now I am going to see how I'm going to stitch those in sorry I had to sneeze <laughs> okay um, what I used to do my stitching um, I have this little book binding set from We Are Memory Keepers and it comes with uh, let's see if I have this piece somewhere hold on I do it's this thing and I bought this when I um, started learning or when I started doing the Coptic stitch um, this helps with putting in all the holes that you need for the Coptic stitch but that's the only time when I actually use this. And for all my other like journals that I make, the simple stitching, I just use, use the pokey tool and the needle it comes with. Because it's a big needle that's not too sharp, it's kind of dull. And um, it also comes with a round needle, I don't know if you can see it in here, and some wax thread that I... I think I've used it once and instructions so these are like the different stitches you can do I'm sure there's even more oh it's upside down all right um, there are different ways you can stitch your journal I do a very basic um, stitch and on journal for journals that have like sh short um, shorter pages um, th that are like somewhere in the middle, I do five holes. But for pay uh, for journals that have like all the same size pages, I just do three stitches because there's they will like all three holes will go through all pages. But if you have like a sh short little page in here, it would only be like sewn in in one one hole, and then it I think it wouldn't be as sturdy as it should be so that's why I would do like more holes closer together so it would get caught at least by two or three holes or stitches all right so but like I said for this one I'm only going to use uh three holes and when I started making journals uh I heard somewhere that when like when it comes to the thread that you use like length you should do five times the height or the long side of your journal, the height, but I always end up with so much leftover thread. So all I do is about three times and maybe a little, I add a little bit, but I, yeah, I can guarantee you I'm going to have to cut off some of this in the end. Um, also, when I have more signatures, I um, flip those around inside out or outside in, and then I mark where I want to um, poke the holes. And then um, I line it up and poke the holes in the same spot in here. Um, for my last Christmas journal that I did, I didn't even bother with that. I just poked the holes right through my signature, right through my um, cover, and started stitching. And I also um, took my clips and actually clipped my signature to my cover on one side, so it wouldn't like wouldn't move, so I wouldn't lose position of the holes um, I actually might do that too 
And the reason why you clip, why you would want to clip those is so all the papers stay in the exact position that you want them in. So I am just going to clip this. Yeah. So now you see, I have like a quarter inch up here, quarter inch here, and a quarter inch here. And then I am just going to, and I'm gonna make sure that when you clip those together, that this is, sits really flush in the um, spine in here. Okay, whoops, threads, where's my pokey thing? And this is very pokey. So, I usually poke the middle hole first and then I just do the other ones. So let's do this. Fingers crossed it will work out. Where's the middle? And you don't really have, like, I never measure it. I think for the first one I did because I was worried, but here I just, and there it comes, oops. <laughs> and let's do the other one up here. Pokey pokey. Obviously if, you, if you're new to making and binding journals, ugh, come on, um, you probably want to measure or make a template you can make a template where you um, line a paper up with your spine or your cover, and then you can draw on the template, like make um, where you poke holes through, and then you can line up the same thing with your signatures and do the same thing, so you have all the holes aligned. Um, and the more journals you make, the more you'll find out what works for you and what doesn't. Um, Sure, there's way better ways to do this. Okay, so I got all my three holes and it's still lined up because it's clipped together. Um, yeah, like I said, there's there might be better ways, easier ways to do this, but this is just what works best for me. And sometimes I'm just lucky that it didn't, uh, the hole didn't, or the needle didn't come out on the side. So because I didn't move any of this stuff around, when I poke through the hole now with my needle, it comes out right away. So you want to pull the um, thread through, and I usually leave like this much space. Um, and in the beginning, I'll hold on to it because I don't want it to like come out when I pull on it. And then I'm just gonna go in either at the top or the bottom. That's the top. Oh yeah, and one important thing, you have to make sure that you're sewing your signature in the right way. One time I sewed in, sewed in I think it was my first journal and I had three signatures and I sewed in my second signature upside down. So I had to take it all out and do it again. <laughs> so you always want to make sure that it's the right side up. Okay, so now I came back in through the top hole and I'm gonna go uh, all the way down to the bottom hole. Whoopsies, I don't know, can you see that? Yeah, go through the bottom hole and Oh, see, I'm already stuck on the corner here. Pull this, and I'm still holding the little tail. And then what you want to do is you go back in through the first one. Perfect. Okay, so you see there's one and there's the other one. And if you cover the spine with like lace, it doesn't really matter if it's like not exactly lined up or not so pretty. I have like this fold in here from when I had to shove this to my sewing machine, but I didn't really worry because I knew I was going to cover up the spine with my lace. Okay, so now you have to, you have the little short tail and the long tail. See, I told you I would have to cut off a whole bunch. So only takes about three times the length of the journal or less. Okay, so what I usually do is I make sure one of those is on one side of the middle string and one is on the other side. And then I just tie a knot like this. And you wanna make sure this is really tight. Tie, and then I tie it the other way. So it's like a two, like a double knot. And that's it. So you can tie a, um, a charm on it or you don't have to. When I cut this off, I usually leave this much 
just in case I want to tie something on it. If I don't, then I can always trim it in the end. So now what happens if I take my clips off? Yay! So, and, oh, <laughs> that went flying. Uh, <laughs> it ended up on the other side of my desk. Okay, I don't know if you saw that clip that I just shot through my room. Um, okay, let me put my needle away because every time I do this, I can't find my needle afterwards. So this time I'm just going to stick it right back in here. Am I even filming? Yes, I am. It's eight minutes. Okay, all this goes back in here. I love this little set. This is awesome. I'm sure you don't need it. If you have like some other pokey tool, do I? I had like from Julie making this ugly thing. This I used it to like poke glue bottles and stuff. But yeah, um, if you have jewelry making tools, um, you can probably use that too. All right, Ugh. put this away. So yay! I'm really happy that this was so easy, and now I can do a flip through. So when you open it, we have the pink uh, dyed paper some music paper that's from the clarinet then I printed um, I have two pink Christmas digital kits that I bought on Etsy and this is one page of those and I just printed it on the back of scrapbook paper because I want to use this paper but I thought a plain white page would be boring so and then I have a page with rings from my old um, Sears catalog from like I think 1903 but it's a reprint um, from the 60s or 50 I don't remember uh, copy dyed paper hi pepper my cat's here and then I was only gonna put 15 papers in there which would uh, result in 60 pages but um, I also have this beautiful paper like uh, digital paper and I printed it on vellum and I thought it turned out really great. It's beautiful, you can see through. So it's obviously just decoration not to write on, but I thought it just added a nice touch to the journal. And uh, I printed it, my printer prints uh, borderless, so that's perfect. I could just, uh, I didn't have to cut anything out. So I love the vellum. And then uh, there's one paper was lined paper and has very subtle um, poinsettias in here. I don't know if you can tell. And then here's this form that I had. That was like the long one that I folded in that I coffee stained. This is the English Chinese form. Music <clears throat> for an organ. Then some scrapbook paper. Looks like color samples from the hardware store. Then there, oh yeah, that's scrapbook paper that I printed on on the back as well. Uh, some school paper, some more um, pink paper, Christmas music, and the center is the lovely um, rose scrapbook paper. I am going to let my cat out real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. And then these just repeat because they're the opposite of the other pages that you just saw. I just want to show you what I did with this long page. So this is actually the opposite side of the form, this one. And if you remember from my previous video, it was like this much too long and I just folded it in. And what I did, I put some light pink um, scrapbook paper. Uh, I glued it on there and I just stamped a few stamps on there to make it look less boring. And then I put some of my leftover rose paper on the flap and put a thumb hole in there or yeah and then now it's a beautiful side tag a tuck and you could put something in there i really love this one yep so that's is my signature and <clears throat> next i am going to let's see what i'm gonna do um oh yeah i want to work on a belly band idea that i had and i also want to show you the the things I've cut out so far. I was gonna do uh, use my scan and cut to cut, fussy cut a whole bunch of pictures or images from my uh, 
Stemperia, <clears throat> Stemperia paper. However, for some reason, my um, scan and cut does not do a very good scanning job. I think there might be the scanner might be dirty. I haven't used the machine in forever. Either it's dirty or it's just broken, but it just didn't do. It just wasn't very good. So I before I would ruin it, I ruin my paper. I just fuzzy cut by hand. Okay, so let's see. I got. Uh, a collection on Etsy that had like cute little um, vintage papers or images and then I cut out some journaling cards and distressed the edge and then um, I found these these little stars um, I got those from AliExpress a long time ago I have a whole bunch of them they're just puffy little stars I thought they might match and then I also had cut out these tags and for one I already put a uh, seam binding thing on there and then these are all the images that I fuzzy cut little Santa ice skates and I, I just left a light little white border because there's like it's so much detail I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna go blind or take forever but I think it actually looks nice make helps it stand out a little bit and a nice beautiful tree and last but not least I took a brown paper bag that I got from somewhere I don't remember it's just a random little brown paper bag and I actually trimmed it because it was um, kind of too long for me and I glued the bottom up like on the side and so now it's their little um, little bag and Put some scrapbook and eh, no, not scrapbook paper. It's paper from the collections that I printed out from Etsy, and then I embellished it. And I was thinking maybe I'll put one of those stars on there. I don't know. We'll see. What do you think? Star or no star? I love this paper with the hot chocolate and the marshmallows. Um, okay, and then so when I glue this on a page, you have a little tag here, and then you have a big pocket for like a big tag up here and I'm just gonna glue the whole thing down so that's what I've done so far besides finishing the journal like signature okay let's put those to the side and then what I also want to use this is a little white very white so I might actually dye some more um, paper tomorrow and I might dye, try to dye some doilies pink and I also um, have these A7 envelopes. Let's see what size they are. Okay, so it's like seven and a quarter by five and a quarter. And these have big windows. I love those. And uh, I'm not gonna use the ooh, sticky. I'm gonna do so, cover this up. And I thought I could um like cover this or embellish the the border and then maybe stick it on in here and then it could flip open and you can take stuff in or out or I just glue it shut so it's like a frame with a picture inside so love this let's see if this is actually yeah oh this is very close huh interesting okay so now um two nights ago Oh yeah, I also have this pink playing card and I have these little glassine bags and this has the perfect size. So I might actually turn this into a journaling card and embellish this and just stick it into the journal. Okay, I was gonna say, uh, two nights ago, when I go to bed, I always think about journaling. <laughs> I don't know how many of you do that too, but I love journaling, or not journaling, journal making. And I thought, hey, I have to make a belly band and I'm gonna make a belly band and then I'm gonna put cut pieces of paper on it. It's, I'm not really sure how to explain it, but that's why I wanna show you. I have never made this before. I haven't seen it anywhere, so I'm not sure if it's my idea or not, but it popped into my head. So let's see how, uh, let's see, measure this. Okay, oh, that's exactly one inch. So let's do one inch pieces if I can. 
So I guess I'll just have to cut this one inch. Ooh, how am I gonna hold this? Oh, it's right on this perforated line. That's okay. Okay, so there's one inch. I think this is an inch as well. Yep, perfect. So I need a whole bunch of one inch pieces. This is not an inch. It's, oh, it's too bad. I don't want to cut that off. How about we cut off a tiny bit on each side? Because this is like an inch and... Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, sixteenths. Oh my goodness. I'll just trim off a little bit on both sides. It doesn't matter if it's not not uh, perfect. It's called junk journal for a reason, right? Okay. Ah, come on. Nope. Oh my gosh, it's not even straight. <laughs> Never mind. All right, please be an inch. I don't think it's an inch. Mm, close enough. Okay, so what I want to do, hmm, or I'll just, no, I'll just use this. So I want to make, um, I want to cut squares, and then from the squares, I'm going to cut triangles. So they should all be like about an inch by an inch. One. Well, this is not square because it's not really an inch. Two. Three. I don't even know if it's going to work out the way I plan or envision it in my head. Okay. So, I also need a base for my belly band. Hmm, I wonder if I should take a solid color paper. This is too thin. Okay, let's cut one inch strips. Ugh! Haha! <laughs> It has been so cold today. When I left this morning to drop my daughter off at daycare, it was three degrees and windy. Holy moly. Like three degrees Fahrenheit, not Celsius. <laughs> I wish it was three degrees Celsius. Okay. I'm not sure how many of these I'm gonna need. And I think we're supposed to get snow tomorrow. I know that some of the East Coast is getting some snow today, so we're probably going to get the leftovers. Which is fine, as long as it's not going to have a power outage again. Okay, and today I also pre preheated my craft room because I did not want to um, sit in the cold again. We should do this one too. One inch. Oops. Let's cut a little piece off of here. Okay, I think I'm just gonna um, fast forward this for a little bit so you don't have to watch me cut a bazillion pieces of paper.
this is all super crooked <laughs> and some of those squares aren't even squares i tried to cut one by one inch but it didn't work so i should have one two three four five six seven eight nine and they should all fit on my nine inch paper which uh oh i have such a great kid she was crying and crying and then she plucked in her pacifier and went back to sleep so it's nice when your kid knows how to self-soothe okay what was i doing oh yeah so now it's not really how i wanted it to be but it's i'm experimenting so let's see if i can actually trim this so it looks nice wow they are really not an inch i don't get it <laughs> how can i cut this like wrong okay let's do this it doesn't look too bad though does it okay and then i'm gonna have to trim it probably on the bottom i don't know we'll see all righty and now i need like a paper do we want this maybe i'll do that okay so let's measure how wide this is because i know it's not an inch it's 15 16th Ugh. oh well you know me and and inches <laughs> i'm so much you so much more comfortable with the metric system okay so if i do do i want to do it this way yeah, let's do an inch and a half. Inch and a half. Okay. And nine inches. to trim so it doesn't look weird it's not too bad a little bit piece here a little bit here okay this can go in the trash and now i'm just gonna make sure that it's really nine inches <laughs> say i want to stick it it's eight and a half. Oh my gosh. It's not nine inches. Nine inches to cover. Arr! Okay. <laughs> oh my word. Why did I think nine inches? Because the cover is nine inches. <sighs> Silly me. Eight and a half. That's what we need. Okay. Now it should fit. <laughs> Oh my word. Okay, so ta -da, da da belly band and where's my weird thing? Oh, okay. So, well, that's dumb. I wish I'll just cut it like this. Okay. Glue and as you saw on my fast forward forward part where i was gluing those squares um triangles on my paper rather than um, putting glue on each single piece a triangle i just put glue on the entire paper and then stuck them on there which made it a lot easier and a lot less sticky on my fingers okay now I'm wondering if I should have put some lace under it. I think yes. Because I have this one that has like doubles. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's do that. And guess what? I bought a gigantic clue of uh, glue. Gigantic tube of 
uh, fabric tag. Took me forever to find it at the Walmart I stopped at yesterday because it's not my the usual Walmart I go to and it's not a completely different um, section. Okay, so let's put some up, but I gotta see if I can use this up. Stick some glue on there. Oh, it's already coming out. Not in the frame, yes. gonna put in the middle where I'm gonna also stick my 11 I uh, know 15 16th wide <laughs> um, oh no this comes first uh, I think that side that side up huh. paper Okay, now, now I can glue this on there. Uh, I'm gonna use my oops. I wasn't able to craft yesterday because I had to work in the evening as well because we launched a new website that I uh, I built and we try to do that off hours because then we don't have as much traffic and it's must uh, not so many complaints because there's people that don't understand don't know we're launching a site and then when they cannot get to the old site or something then we get bombarded with emails so we do it like off hours so and then by the time I was done, I was like, I'm ready for bed. I was sad I couldn't craft, but yeah, sometimes it's just, I think that looks pretty nice. What do you think? Hmm, cool. Oops. So I think if you do it right, it can actually be really nice. I'm just going to make sure the corner sticks down. So if you have real one inch squares or triangles, then... That could be really cool because it will actually line up. But now that I know it's not nine, it doesn't need to be nine inches, then I still would have to cut the ends off. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'll get my scissors out. And chips. And chips. There you got a belly band. Okay. And then I'm going to put it somewhere. I think I'm going to build. I'm going to um, create all my pockets and belly bands and things and stuff first. And then I'm going to decide what goes where. But I think it looks really cool. I'm definitely going to put it on one of those coffee dyed papers because I love the contrast. And it pulls it all together because it, we have like the, the music paper in here too. Cool. Okay. So that's all I got for today, guys. Let me know what you think about my um, belly band idea. Even though it didn't like, it's not perfect, but I still I th still think it's nice, and I think the the uh, lace ribbon adds a nice touch in texture. I'm all about texture. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, let me know what you think about the belly band, and. I guess I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. And I hope you are having a great day or great evening whenever you're going to watch my video. So, bye guys.